What is up, you guys? Of course, welcome to a very, very fine game against uh, Noble Co. A.K. Axel, who is a tremendous battler, and it's really fun seeing him back here. He actually started college, which means that he has been rather busy and uh, haven't been able to upload anything. But this guy is um, a person I've been following for quite some time, and you know, been friends since uh, I actually started following him. And he's just overall an extremely good battler, and it's great to see him around. Um, he wanted a battle in a higher tier, and I was actually rather fine with that, <laughs> or rather, I should say, I was actually scared. But I actually know that um, in our different uh, tier, if we, when we battle each other in NU and RU, we match each other's strings really well. So I know that going into the higher tier battle against him, that uh, I have his mindset in mind, which means that I can cope with him, but then I just need to um, beware of the strength that his team is bringing. And look at the strength! Look at the strength! We got a freaking Sceptile, which is I'm bringing on my own, actually. And we got Asimaril, Raikou, Jirashi, Latios, and of course Hippowdon, and that is a lot, yes, yeah, sorry. And the Hippowdon is actually a set that I gave to him that he wanted, so I know exactly what that Hippowdon is all about. But that will not, will not matter too much in this battle. I myself wanted to match that strength. I'm using Entei, a Scarfed Blastoise, my Mega Sceptile on my own, to be honest, my Hitmon Top, my, what was it called? Hillelisk, <laughs> and Landorus. And right off the bat there, I thought my safest bet was to go for Entei, because it can deal with a lot of things, and uh, basically, I know it would be extremely... Weird for him to leave with the Powdon, consider that uh, it seems very, very obvious for him to do so. So I had that in mind when I went to the battle. So anyway, let's actually get to it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I did beat myself up <laughs> at the start here because he will actually leave with the Powdon and I will leave with Entei. And obviously, uh, not the best of situations, but I was thinking he's gonna set up rocks. He's gonna expect me to switch out. So I'm just gonna go for Sacred Fire and hoping, of course, for a burn. And not only do I like do no damage whatsoever, I don't score the burn, and basically I am forced to switch out here. I know his only attacking move is that quick, so Landorus seems like the safest bet. I do know this thing packs Roar too, so basically, damn, he is very safe here. And even though I get intimidated off, this thing is not offensively vested, which means that it barely matters. So Hitman Top is coming in. So, I was expecting him to switch out. I'm just gonna go for Rapid Spin. I don't wanna break Blastoise HP right now. I really want to be full because it actually packed Water Spout. And I know being Scarfed and all, should be able to cope with a lot of his team late game. So we're gonna decide to switch out. Like I said, I get that. So Asmaril is coming in. And uh, basically at this point, I was extremely lucky because I will go for Toxic. And... Uh, he will go for a play rough, not expect actually doing the right play and attack me, but he miss. Which is unfortunate because that is easily with huge power 80% uh, at my hit on top, and I knew that. I, I just wanted this thing toxic. Because I have issues dealing with Asmarils properly. So I do go for protect here and uh, just to get some residual damage going. I actually have Sesmic Toss on my hit on top, no attack investment whatsoever. So, anyway, I do score the um, Intimidate here, which is very important, but the play rough will actually do right over 50%, and that is just terrible, to be honest. And um, I knew that he was not gonna stay in, so I just went for a knockoff, hoping for him to bring the Pout on, because if I can get the Leftovers off, then that's fine. And I just, like I said, I know he can't really attack me, so I decided to keep going for the knockoffs, because I really wanted him to... Um, be in an area where to go for a slack off where I can safely switch out. And I'm gonna do that, bring in Hitmon top, and uh, go for rapid spin yet again, obviously. And uh, I'm actually some fight HP here because I don't lose too much HP from the stealth frog, so the left doors will take me back on. And well, that is just wonderful. It really is. But anyway, this power don't really proves to be tough to deal with because I really need the right matchup to cope with it in the long run, and I actually knew that. 
So, like I said, they're going for rapid spin. You need the rock out of the way yet again. And at this point, I was just thinking, all right, he might go for Moonblast if he's the special Z, or we can go for a Sun Headbutt. Either way, I decide to switch out to Entei and to force him out, really, because of my typing. And um, I actually see this as a golden opportunity to pull a double switch into my. Um, into my. Uh, what was it called? My Blastoise. Think that he will go for. Um, the scary, scary, scary powder on, but he will actually switch out too. So, like I said, going for Blastoise here, which is Scarfed, and he's gonna switch out, and he's gonna go to the Asmaril. And this was really, really, really tough for me. I decided to do attack anyway because Water Spout is 200 base after all, and it does nothing like nothing, like issue nothing. And of course, this player off will destroy my poor Blastoise, which means I just wasted this guy. I lost a lot of momentum. Blastoise could have worked well with Water Spout late game, and I really thought it would do more. So, a huge mistake on my part, and my Landorus is paying the price for that, because I was forced to switch out no matter what, and I really, really couldn't um, see myself losing my, um, my Blastoise just yet because of the typing. So anyway, I do get the free switch into Alyssa, which has been my spec Sceptile for quite some time, and I knew, now it's in new you, and she is working great, that molten flare of her tail is just so great. And of course, Giga Drain is now a tutor move, which means that Alyssa is great, really, really working out. So Lolias is here, and um, basically, I don't want to take a Draco, I don't know how much a Dragon Pulse does, and I don't want to find out, I really, really don't. So anyway, getting that pressure going, that's always nice, and Draco is coming, and it just does so much damage. I'm a Salt Vest in Entei, mind you, but still, still that is just too much to deal with, and consider the residual damage of the Toxic, I'm basically, uh, I'm, I'm on a death road, I really am. And uh, I decided to go for extreme speed because I'm not sure it's gonna outspeed. I'm not sure I can take another Draco to be honest. But I actually switched out to the Powdown. And at this point, I was just like, all right, fine, let's get the burn, let's get the burn. Second hit, no burn. And it sets up the rocks yet again. So I was like, like just beating myself here because I'm obviously sacking my anti right now. So I go for the second Sacred Fire and I miss. So, um,. I guess some hacks equality there because it did miss play rough, so it's actually kind of fine, but it's frustrating at the same time. So anyway, I did expect him to, of course, switch out a powder, not staying in, and uh, I basically just went for an ice beam if I remember correctly, because I felt like that could be my safest bet. Of course, ice beam does nothing here, and uh, I was thinking first to bring my septile, but then I was thinking. He is a good enough player to not fall for that, and I know that. So uh, he went for Shadow Ball, which was much a better choice to be honest. Should have switched into my hill, he's thinking about it. But anyway, Alyssa is coming back here, and uh, I actually decided to go for Leaf Storm, thinking that he's gonna risk to stay in because I do outspeed. But he goes for safer play to Urachi, and I should have seen that, I really should have. Uh, I have Focus Blast, and I should have done a lot of good damage, but because of my special attack being down here, I am forced to switch out, and I see no reason getting my Alyssa uh, toxic. It, to be honest, I feel like that could be a speed, very, very hard hassle for me to deal with. So, I do get to intimidate off and stuff like that, and he'll go for Narn Head, hoping for flinch. You know, if I decided to attack, I don't think this thing was scarfed. No, it wasn't, of course, it isn't. It's still leftovers, I just said that. Never mind. Uh, I did expect him though to try to go for a Toxic here, and I actually just can go for a Seismic Toss. I was pretty much forcing him to go for a Wish, or at least that was my intentions. Uh, I really didn't know if I was gonna pull that off, but at the same time I know that Yurashi can take a lot of punishment if it is a defensive set. So I'm much better off just trying to whittle this thing down and be in a position where I know that you will try to go for a wish and utilize that in my favor, of course. So, well, basically, I decided to switch out here. Like I said, I was really hoping for him going for um, a wish. <laughs> I was so, that was my mindset from the point on here. So I go into Saladin, and he's going for an Arnold. 
and of course it doesn't do too much but at the same time I really really because I do do a big mistake here I should just have gone for the hyper voice because the hyper voice would have been a 2 hit KO I decided to go for dark pulse which is not the best really considered his whole team I was thinking like he could switch into his Latios but he's gonna make a whole raft of bat, and uh, now I have a me another Mega Sceptile here. And uh, yeah, the Giga Rain, while it doesn't kill me, uh, I'm still not able to outspeed, and the rocks are on the field, which means that I have an issue here because I really need my my Sept or my Hillies to work. And I do another big misplay here because I'm thinking that Blastoise is much more work than uh, my Hitmon Top, and I was thinking I can actually live. Uh, two hits from this thing because I'm fully defensive and HP I, I am not obviously and uh, this just sucks so bad so I was basically fa hoping to fake a sucker punch which he obviously isn't falling for and I lose both my hit list and hit on top in this play because I can't get rid of stealth rocks and of course hit on top will die or this hit list will die from the rocks here and this is also a very very big hassle because I actually thought I would outspeed with the scarf. I'm actually two points in speed slower to a Mega Sceptile and that just blew my mind that I couldn't pull that off. So anyway I'm gonna switch into my own Sceptile here and he will go for Protect just to scout me out really to see what I'm gonna do and I go for Dragon Pulls. There's no reason for me not to and he's gonna decide to switch out and basically try to fodder off his uh, Yarashi so it can, you know, with a little luck here, actually survive another Dragon Pulse, and I knew that. I needed to play extremely risky, so I decided to go for Focus Blast, and uh, I landed. And yes. So obviously, I'm still in a huge issue here of the Latias coming in with Draco, and I can't leave Draco. But Alyssa, you know, collected her final strengths here, and pull off the Dragon Pulse that's gonna crit and annihilate this Latias which was just extremely cool to see and um, of course if it weren't a crit I would have taken it down but it doesn't really matter because I will do another big misplay here um, I should definitely go for Leaf Storm thinking about it I was hoping that it was in range of a Dragon Pulse to take it out Ugh, no it isn't and he has the hidden power Ice, which I didn't expect and of course that will be enough to finish off my Sceptile and uh, you know that's fine it really is I should definitely go for Leaf Storm and uh, then switch into my Hill uh, to just get my special attack draw or attack back I actually forgot during this session that I had one Pokemon left uh, because of me screwing up the rocks it basically meant that I was gonna lose anyway and um, since Noble Co's Sceptile had max speed like mine, uh, it will basically be, if I'd done the right plays there, it would just come down to a game of luck. And to be honest, actually is such a good player and I really didn't mind losing because I think that, you know, we met each other's strength. Sure, I did some misplays, but hell, it was an intense battle. It really, really were. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this battle, and like I said there, Noble Co or Axel is, he's one of those players that I know how strong he is as a player, and I know what I have to do to defeat him, and my double switch uh, with the Blastoise, I really paid highly for that, but I also paid very, very high for bringing Hitmon top, I was basically forcing myself to play in a way that I got him uncomfortable, and I did make that from time to time, but you know, he still you know kept his cool and it really showcased how good of a battle really is that I couldn't go around that and just face the fact that he is a very tough player and we play very similar so it's always a pleasure going against him because he is so good and uh, yeah basically I had a lot of fun I didn't mind lose at all actually I felt that we got both showcase our team and uh, if I've done the correct plays there in the end it would still come down to a game of luck which you know wouldn't have mattered in the long run because I really feel that we both did our very best and you know we came down very narrow actually so yeah with that in mind guys I need to say this uh, this is some uh, bad news or not bad news but I'm going away for Christmas so this is my last upload uh, through the holiday I'm going to upload again on Sunday so that's like six days from now uh, I hope you guys can cope with that I have a actually a lot of battles um, stocked up that I need to record and like narrate uh, against 
really, really good play players like uh, G Pinsir and stuff like that. Very tough players that um, you know they're worth showcasing. That was definitely an interesting battles to be honest. So I'm gonna try to cope with that when I come back. And uh, my capture card has been uh, posted too, so hopefully it gets here before. Uh, it probably not gonna get here before New Year, but still, it it is on its way, and that is just tremendously cool. It really is. So, with that in mind, guys, hope you really like this battle, and don't forget to retweet this battle, because we're actually closing in on, uh, what is that, 500 subs, and, um, yeah, basically just spread the word that I exist, and that the capture card is coming, and that you guys are great. And with that in mind, guys, of course, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and, uh, yeah, remember, the sky is... The limits have a good day and take care and Merry Christmas for God's sake. Alright? Bye.